Hey everyone, it's Ivan again. Just wanted to show you how you can reduce the transparency of your background image in your ClickFunnels page. Uh, so the reason why you would want to do that is if you have text over the image, sometimes if the image is too dark, you will have trouble seeing the text, all right? So let's jump right in. So I'm gonna click edit page, the exact same page we used for all our previous examples, okay? So these guys seem to be selling some type of um, health supplement. So maybe we want to make our background picture something to do with health, okay? So the two websites I use that are completely free for pictures is Pixabay and Pexels, okay? So I'll send the links down for you guys down below. Totally free to use. Uh, very convenient. You don't even have to sign up. So let me type in, you know, healthy into both of these and see what we get. Both are very good. Both have different pictures. So you can kind of pick whatever one uh, you like best. So these are okay, these are solid. Let's look at these. Oh, I can click enter. <laughs> no wonder. Oh, error, that's no good. That's odd, okay. Um, well, Pexels doesn't seem to be working for now, so maybe we'll have to stick with this one, that's fine. Okay, so suppose we like this picture, okay? And again, doesn't really matter what, but let's take that for a change. So let's, we'll just click view. You may have to type in this text to make sure you're not a robot. Okay, and then it gives you the picture. You All you do is you copy or you um, save it. Okay, so I'll just save it to my desktop. Then I'll go back here. So I'll click on this green icon so that the picture occupies the whole section. I'm gonna click this little plus here next to background image where it says background image, and I'm gonna upload. Okay, so top right, I'll click upload and I'll click my raspberry picture. Just see why this is still not working. Looks like the host is not working. Okay, so their website is down, it looks like, unfortunately. Ah, that's all right. By the time you guys use it, it should be up, up and running, okay? Then I have my PowerPoint here. Okay, so you just open, um, so prepare just a fresh PowerPoint. No background, nothing there, plain and simple. Taking a while, it usually takes a while at the last percent, I don't know why. And obviously the smaller the picture, um, the faster it loads, but the, the pictures there are really big, so that means they have very good quality as well, okay? And you can obviously reduce the picture size on your own on PowerPoint as well. Okay, so there, finally added. So let's look at image. So, I mean, it looks it looks like a, like a decent image. Um, the only thing is it may be a bit hard to see for the audience, okay? So what our goal is today is to reduce the transparency of this. Now, if I click green here, and I, over here, as you can see, there's, there's nothing here that can reduce transparency, okay? Even if I click here, that doesn't change anything because there's a background image. So what we want to do is we'll go to PowerPoint, We'll click insert picture. Okay, so that inserted the, so the reason why we're gonna insert the picture here first is so that we can use this for comparison purposes, okay? So we won't actually be doing anything with this particular one. Next, we will insert a rectangle. So go to insert shapes, rectangle, and I'm using PowerPoint 2016 or 2017, so it should be roughly the same for you guys. So I'll make my rectangle, you know, I'll make it, it's, I'll make it a bit bigger, it doesn't matter what size it is. Then I'll go here on the right, uh, make sure you go to this little paint uh, paint icon there, right underneath paint, it's gonna say picture or texture fill, okay? So click that, insert your file, and now it, it gives me a file, and this was preset because um, for some reason it remembered what I did last session. So this is set at 50% transparency, okay? So if I make this 0%, the, the image is gonna be exactly the same. If I make this 100%, it's, you won't be able to see it because it's completely transparent, okay? So let's start off by making it, you know, 50%, see what it looks like. Um, so I will right-click this image. I'll click Save as Picture. Uh, go to my desktop and I'll just name it Raspberry and I'll say 50%, okay? So I, I, I found that was quite useful for me because I usually forgot which image was what transparency and I had trouble going back and editing, okay? So I always put the exact, uh, the exact transparency of my images on. Okay, so I'll click there. 
click upload. So now we're going to upload the new image, which may take a little bit at that last second. You know, this is shorter than before. And let's see what it's going to look like. there all right there you go so let's click add image so as you can see quite a big difference okay so if I uh, if, if if I put our previous image here you'll see that there's quite quite the distinction okay so that's how you do it guys uh, that's how you reduce the transparency this is much more visible still a very nice image um, so if you have any questions let me know uh, ask any questions comments uh, concerns uh, please subscribe and thanks for watching until next time